In the previous episodes, we saw how to set up a simple sequence and then expand it through patterns and tracks. Today we will explore some internal ways of adding variation and expressiveness by changing the values we took for granted this whole time. We have said that a stage contains four pieces of information, two CVs and two gates, that share the same time duration, which is the stage length. In the case of CVs, Usta plays a new value at the beginning of the stage and it holds it until the next stage. In the case of gates, the value we dial sets how much of the stage length should output a gate high signal and how much a low one. However, Usta has more ways to interpret the CV and gate values that we dial through the stage encoders. We set up a sequence with just one track and one pattern, but when we use all the four channels. CV A controls the pitch, CV B changes the wavefolder level, gate A fires an envelope that controls the VCA amplitude, and gate B pings Prince's wavefolding circuit. Let us select CV A. We can see that all the stages have a blue LED. Let us then push some stage encoders. The LED now becomes green. Now Usta doesn't simply play our note. Instead, it uses it as a target point to create a linear integration that starts from the previous stage's value. This function is called slide, because now Usta continuously moves between two voltages instead of jumping straight from one another. The stage length plays a huge part here, since it defines the slide time. Whether our stage is 1 or 16 time units long, the integration will last for its whole duration, so we can say that the shorter stages will slide faster and longer stages will slide slower. Please note that the slide function is not what we commonly call glide or portamento. The glide function is often a fixed integration time that eventually leads to a steady voltage. On the USTA, the actual voltage is never held. So for example, if our envelope or our gate level is not as long as the stage length, we may not experience the end of the sliding time, like this. Compare it with a longer gate. If we want a more classic portamento, like for example in a 303 fashion, we might want to use an external zero limiter, like Falistri 1. So for example we can set all the stages to back to blue, patch our CVA through Falistri's integrator, and then back into BrainSource Vault Proactive. Now with Falistri we even have the possibility to slide only going up or going down. But this is off topic. Let's go back to our previous patch. We shot a frap talk on this topic which I will link in the top right corner and in the video description. If we push the stage encoder another time, the stage color will turn red. This is called a hold, and now Usta will ignore the selected stage value. We can use the set all and shift all buttons to change more stages on the fly and momentarily freeze our sequencer. Although there is another way of holding a voltage, but we will see that in another video. Shift all changes every stage's color with the following one. We can use the slide function also with row voltages, as in our CVB. You can now hear that some voltages are tied together and our CVB tracks step the flavor now becomes more of an envelope.
This is an excellent way of adding motion and dynamics to our track. We can even use a spare track, set it to a different clock or time ratio or both and uh, set a completely different uh, sequence in terms of length. Set both CVA and CVB to row mode and then program two separate sequences it is a fully functional double complex LFO that is independent from our main sequence and feel free to patch it wherever you like and play with the CV value and the link parameter to add and subtract complexity. The gate channels have their colors as well. When blue, the LED indicates how much of the gate stage length should have a gate high signal before returning low. No LEDs means that the gate is always off. Sixteen LEDs indicate that it is always on and it will tie to the next one. In the same way, 4 LEDs means that the gate will stay high for 4 16th of the total stage length. If we push the stage encoder, you will see that the stage LED will become green as well and the gate will be in repeat mode. Now the LED number indicates how many equally spaced gates USTA must output within one stage. Four in this case, two in this one, and even three. We can better appreciate this effect with slower sequences, so I'm gonna set the ratio to one to two. It is an actual ratcheting effect that can add a lot of groove to our track. Even in this case, the gate number highly depends on the stage length, so 4 repetition will sound faster during a 2 time unit stage and slower on a 4 time unit stage. By default, the duty cycle of these gates is set to 50%, meaning that between each repetition the gate will stay high and low for the same amount of time. However, accessing the track menu makes it possible to change the gate high duration through the gate A and gate B percentage. Now it is set to 50% and we can reduce it to 10. or increase it up to 90. Even with the gates it is possible to access the red color called skip. In this way Usta won't generate any gate. The result is the same as setting the gate value to zero. But the skip function is non-destructive and allows you to retain the gate value and return to it. Combine the gate color with the set all button to mute the track. There is another way to mute a track, but we will see that in another video. So far we have seen the various ways in which Usta can interpret the value that we enter through the stage encoder, either as CV or gate.
can create some sort of polyrhythm within a stage by combining different green gate values for gate A and gate B. So far we have seen the various ways in which Usta can interpret the value that we enter through the stage encoder, either as a CV or gate. Now it is time to check how Usta can vary such a value. This function is called variation and it is a pseudo-randomization based on two parameters, the variation index and the variation range. The index is a value that defines how likely our CV or gate value might change. The range defines the pool of possible values that might replace it. We access those two parameters through the channel layers. So far our channel LEDs were always red. It means that we are in the value layer, so what we dial through the stage encoders represents the actual value that Usta will generate. push the CVA button another time, the LED will become green. This is the variation index, which is currently zero for every stage. Let us increase it for stage 3, 4 and 5. Now the value we enter in the red layer is very likely to change, but nothing happens. Why? because the variation range is still zero. Let us then push the CVA button another time and increase this value as well for the same stages. There we go. Now our stages 3, 4 and 5, sometimes uh, unpredictably they might change notes. We must now note two things. The first one is that the variation range is bipolar. Every LED increases the pool of values by plus and minus 2 semitones, up to 32, where all the LEDs are active. The second thing is that Usta will change the values of only those stages with both index and range higher than zero. All the other stages remain unaffected. But you may ask, the notes are entirely out of key. And this is correct, because we haven't defined a root and a scale in our sequence. We will see how to tame this variation in the next video. Now let us go back to zero variation range. The same principle applies to the raw CV. The only difference is that the range parameter increments our range by plus and minus 314 millivolts per LED for a total of plus and minus 5.24 volts. set all the stages to the same CVB value and then play with the variation index and the range to create a sort of fake sample and hold. We can combine it with the green stage color to create a sort of fluctuating LFO. But remember, as we explained in an older FRAP talk, this is not truly random. I will link the video here and in the description. Let us now apply the variation concept to the gates. When the stage color is blue, the variation will make our gate shorter or longer.
Keep in mind that the values are bipolar as well, so if our stages have a reasonably small value, they might become pauses quite often. A negative gate value is always interpreted by Usta as a pause. It is quite pleasant to combine the variation with the green stage color. You will have a randomized ratcheting effect in this way. You must carefully choose your default gate value as well as a reasonable variation range. Otherwise, you may end up with too many gates in the same stage.